All right, so, oh, what did I just do? Hey Beavets, I'm back, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at some sugar surprise dolls, which are brand new, to me at least. I've never checked these out before, nor have I seen them in person. I've only seen them online, and there are six different ones to collect, all of which come inside these colorful frappuccino-like packages. There are 10 surprises inside, which includes one of six dolls, and some reusable sand. So when I saw these on Amazon, I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll check them out. And to my extreme delight, I have been sent two different colored packages. This one here is blue with some purple sprinkles on top with an orange based container. And this one here is green with yellow sprinkles and green container. So hopefully we are duplicate free here. So without further ado, I am going to begin opening them up. While I let you know that I picked these up for $14.99 each off of amazon.ca, but they are actually listed for the exact same price in the US at Target, which is kind of awesome since we usually get a higher price point. So I can't wait to see what this is actually like. All right, first layer of plastic is off for the blue slash orange frappuccino package. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and open the green package as well, just so that everything is ready. Awesome. All right, so both packages are open. We've got a clear dome lid with a hole on top that is currently covered by a sticker that says, sugar surprise, layers of fun. And hold on, when you pull it off, you can see that hole. This uh, means nothing to me. And I know it's not food safe or meant to be used as a beverage container because this dome is actually, check it out. Okay, never mind. don't check it out yet. We're probably supposed to do it in a specific order, but what I was gonna say is, it's hinged, it's off, it's rocker. No, it's meant to open and close like a door, so obviously you can't put a beverage in there, you know what I mean? Next thing we have is the actual cup body, which, once again, is hinged. It's a solid color in the back, mine is green, and this is our sand in the front. And finally, down at the bottom here, I have a pink drawer, which is taped in place by the world's stickiest residue leaving tape ever. I mean, it's definitely not coming off very easily, but um, I did it. Here we go. My drawer is, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's hinged as well, so it's not a drawer. It's a swivel out dish of sorts. I'm sure there's a specific way we're meant to open these, but um, since I don't have that as an instruction, hold on, do I? No, like I said, since I don't have that as an instruction, we're just gonna do whatever I feel like doing, which is opening this first blind bag here from that swivel pull out drawer. So it is pink plastic with some light pink designs all over of stars, hearts, and little cupcakes or more frappuccinos. See what's inside. Oh, oh, wait, what? There's quite a bit in here. Oh, hold on. It's all falling. Okay, hold on. All right, first thing I see is this pink headband, I suppose, which appears to have a waffle cone bowl on top of it. Then we have a green plastic purse, which opens up and it's shaped like a cupcake. Oh, there's glitter on me, barf, barf, barf. Okay, then we've got some shoes which are pink chunky heels that have little green bows across the toe that match the green fishnets underneath. And these are kind of warped at the moment and definitely leaving behind glitter residue. Then we've got a little sheet of stickers here, which is milkshakes, ice cream cones, and cupcakes. I'm definitely seeing a sweets theme, which is no surprise since these are sugar surprises. So I guess that's not actually a remarkable revelation, is it? So let's not focus on that and instead move on to this little dollop of whipped cream, I guess, which I can open, woohoo! It was stuck for a second there. It opens just like that cupcake did. And I'm pretty positive we're supposed to use these as molds for the sand inside of our cups, which means these are gonna come in handy again quite soon. Finally, we have a very thick, hard plastic with embedded glitter, thank goodness, comb in yellow here. It's really, really thick. It's like insanely thick. So that's six surprise is right off the bat. And now it's time to figure out how we're supposed to open the top. Am I just crazy? Like, oh, okay, I see what we're doing here. I'm gonna take that sticker back off because it's really not needed. And then open this clear dome. It looks kind of like a fancy bell. I like that. And now we have access to this rotating green uh, cream spiral with yellow sprinkles. And I can see inside it that there's definitely another blind bag. So let's just take that out. And hey, would you look at that? We've got some instructions here. I guess I should have opened that section first. Those would have been helpful instructions to have had previously. So it says, step one, take off the dome, open the sand. Get 
get a thing that scoops a thing, uh, and then do something with other things, and then other things. Excellent. All right, so just pretend that we did all of those steps in the proper order, and uh, we haven't opened these six surprises yet. Guys, we've got our first set of surprises. Wonderful. This one here, we have a yellow ice cream spoon. It's got some details in it to look as though it's been scooped already, and I guess that could technically texture the sand when we scoop it, maybe, perhaps? I'm not sure. And I really like the thick handle, which kind of resembles a waffle cone patterning and texture. Our second surprise is, oh, ah, it's got glitter. Is this really cute kitty unicorn thing that, it would be a mold if I could open it, but oh my gosh, why can't I? What's going on here? It's like glued together. Ah! Got it, okay. That was really, really hard to open. Not gonna lie to you guys, I had to use my teeth on that one. But nevertheless, it is now opened and I assume once we put our sand in, we can have a super cute little kitty. Although, I mean, the face is only on the outside. Those are painted details, of course, along with the green and glitter, which is on top of the head. But if I'm being honest, I'm totally okay with the lack of glitter that is gonna be inside my molded pet. Surprise number three has, once again, a plastic bag. I really wish these were tissue paper, but whatever. Surprise number three has an ice cream themed skirt inside. It's rubbery and completely covered in iridescent glitter, which is most definitely not staying on. But there is one upside to that, which is that it will eventually all come off. Ugh. So if you take a closer look, we've got pink, brown, and green. So I'm thinking strawberry, chocolate, and mint, plus glitter. Now that we've got our first three surprises, it's time to find us a doll. So I'll pop the top off of my cup here. And wow, that's incredibly smooth. What the heck is that sand? It feels like clay, like hard clay. Can I even dent that? Oh, I can. Okay, so my sand feels kind of oily, but like not at the same time. And it's yellow. It takes quite a bit of oomph to mess with that perfect top we had. That feels really cool. It's kind of like a kinetic sand, but like also not at the same time. I wonder if I can just take it out as one piece. I can. Oh, there's our doll. Don't look yet. Let's put her over there. Inside we've got a little ice cream shop. This is so cute. And a little extra sand. Let's just go ahead and scoop that out. Oh, it clumps together really easily. I feel like I'm playing with like wax sand? I don't know how to explain it. Weird, 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 but I like it. And I don't like sand, so that's a big deal. I like how it feels, but I don't at the same time. It's kind of like greasy, but it's not. Aw, she's so cute. Okay, the doll just fell out again, so we might as well check her out real quick. Clearly, she wants to be noticed. I'm really not sure if she has a name or not, but right now I'm gonna call her Minty because she definitely reminds me of mint ice cream. So she's got a pale complexion and comes wearing a pink bodysuit. There's a little bow in the front of it. She is currently attached to a pink base, which I believe can slide in and out of this little ice cream shop she's got because there's a track underneath it. So her feet have two holes in them, which is how she was standing on that base. She's got a very cutesy pose, like her knees are forever bent, you know, and she's very, very anime, but she does have rotation at her legs here and they do pop out very easily. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Don't go popping body parts all over the place and losing them. And interestingly enough, she's got this really cute type of leg design where it's very cartoony. So they're very large at the base and then they get really small going up to her actual waist. And her arms are super tiny as well. Do they pop out? No. Now we'll move on to the face, which is the most interesting part of these dolls. They definitely give me like an 80s rock star vibe because of the painted face on one side. Like it's definitely ice cream themed here, but you guys see it too, right? So she's got some big black eyes with green hearts in them, yellow makeup on the right side with a big old smearing of pink on the left with the addition of some yellow and white sprinkles and some holes behind her ears, which will allow us, to, ah, I popped off her leg, hold on, as I was saying, so we can add her accessories like this headband here, which is really far back on her head. And finally, we have her overall head, which has a combination of both molded plastic and real long curly green hair. And since her head is hollow and super light, look at this, we've got a really great rotation on that 360 there. She is really cute. It's such a shame she doesn't have a name. All right, so, oh, what did, I just do. <laughs> I just sent her flying. 
flying. Oh my gosh. Okay, be very, very careful with these guys. She is super duper pop offish. Excellent. So I'm just gonna stand her up here for now. Check it out. She is oh falling. Never mind. I was gonna say surf in the waves, dude. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop off this sand. Not because I need to, but mostly because I was supposed to in order to find her. Oh, it's so waxy feeling. I don't know how much I'm digging it now that there's an abundance of it. But anyways, boop, boop, boop. I wanna try making a little cat. So I'm gonna grab some of the white and some of the green. Wish me luck. Uh, I may have had a little too much in there. Squeeze off the excess and give us a unicorn cat. Okay, I can see the details for the face there, but I don't think you guys will be able to. But let me just say, it is super cute. And actually, you know what? This gives me a really adorable idea. I kind of just want to keep this mold. Ah! I kind of want to use this mold when it starts snowing more and make teeny tiny little miniature cat snowmen <laughs> with real snow. I don't know how well it will work, but I'll try. For now, the sand will have to do. I'm just going to set him back here. And look, he sits unassisted. You know what? I'm going to make a yellow one. Now, this is such a weird feeling sand to me. I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of waxy and dry, but not as dry as typical sands that I can't touch. Like, I don't understand it. Or should I say I don't understand it? <laughs> I'm funny. Okay. Or maybe not, but whatever. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. <laughs> I accidentally squished the detail on the face, but you know what? I know that it's adorable underneath. That's what matters. Okay, so these are pretty cool molds. Not gonna lie to you. I didn't think they would be all that fun. I thought it was more of a gimmick and then you'd just get a blob in the end, but no, the details actually transfer over pretty well. And not only can we make those little molds, but technically you could just just leave some of the color in there and then have more of an opaque animal friend. The choice is yours. Moving back to our doll, I'm gonna go ahead and dress her in this super simple outfit. Bam, just like that. She's wearing her skirt. It is just open at the back and slides right on. No clasp, nothing to it. And we can add her shoes, making sure to put them on the right feet. Then we can put her back on the doll stand. And if her hair was messy, we'd be able to comb it right now, but it's not, so it's not necessary. But uh, uh, I'm gonna use the comb to make some little bang, bang. Oh, that one went flying. Where'd it go? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna use this to make some sprinkles, but one of them definitely, definitely went flying. So hold on, maybe we won't do that. I don't know. <laughs> Instead, remember that waffle comb bowl there? Grab her headband and scoop up some ice cream. And then push the scoop into it so we can try to form it a little. Ah! No, it fell out! Hold on, hold on, get back in there. And then give it a squeeze to try to get some of that ice cream scoop-like detail. And then we can add her headband to her head. To be honest, this headband sits very far back. I'm not a fan of that. It, it looks like it's literally just gonna fall off of her head. Oh, I just lost my ice cream. I was about to say, so that's not the greatest. Ah! I'm dropping it everywhere. Come on. Does she even have a name? Why is there no checklist? Is there something I'm missing here? I'm asking an awful lot of questions, but basically she has no name and I have no answer to that. There you go. See what I mean? This is what I was trying to say. It's just kind of hanging off the back of her head. But other than that, she looks pretty darn cute. Oh, she's backwards. Hold on, what the heck am I doing? Ta-da, there we go. Look how stylish she is. But of course she's not ready to hit the town without her purse. Wonderful. Actually, hold on, let's make a cupcake because not only is this a functional little fashion piece, of course we can actually use the mold as a way to make food. Just fill it up, give it a squeeze, pinch off the excess, carefully open and remove. And just like that, we've got a little cupcake. This is very hands-on fun. And of course we can't forget about our whipped cream. I'm gonna fill this one with green sand. There we go. Oh, it turned out super cute. I wonder if it would look better than the ice cream scoop in her little headband there. What do we think? Let's give that a go. Eh, uh, not really. No, definitely not. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. We'll just put the ice cream back, it's okay. Okay, I think the headband is my least favorite part of this doll, to be honest. I forgot to try something. Ready? I think this giant whip here can be used as a skirt for her. Maybe? Is it just supposed to be that? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Take her off of that. Does it fit around her waist? 
I mean, it's really loose, but yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, get over here. She's just like skating around. Never mind. I figured it out because I'm a genius. While we can use this as an outfit, I think it would be much more practical to do as the instructions have suggested. Let's squeeze together all of our sand and we are going to make a dress. That looks so cool, by the way. I still can't get over how much I'm enjoying this sand, to be honest. My hands feel very nicely moisturized, which is interesting. It's so pretty together too. But back to the task at hand. I'm gonna take my smaller dome and stick it inside the larger one and then I'm gonna add some sand all around it. And I'm gonna use the little spoon to make sure I'm getting it in. And then you can use this shell, uh, hopefully much better than I did, to make her a dress. And then if you've got patience, you could create a waffle pattern texture if you roll the spoon. Oh, that does not show up very well on the camera. Of course, we've got our scoopy design in the spoon's rounded section. We've got our little pen design area so that you can mark the sand like so. And you can go around the entire thing. la dee dee da dee da I'm decorating a cake, except it's like ice cream. And let's not forget, we've still got our molds so that we can add ice cream dollops and all that great stuff to this dress or her headband. And because it's the sand, it'll just stick. Ta-da! Oh, that looks ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. She kind of just tips inside there. She's not the very best doll. Her face is super cute and the overall concept is cute. The ability to use all of these pieces in so many different ways, I do like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for these sugar surprise dolls, or at least this one. But she still needs a name, so I'm gonna call her Strawberry mint. And you know what? My biggest complaint is actually that the bodies have too much articulation in the sense that she's just super duper wobbly. I could do without the doll, but she is cute. So now I'll just clean this up and we can open up this second sugar surprise doll who will hopefully be different. I'm going to try to do it in the proper order this time, which would be to start at the top. This should go a lot quicker since we know what to expect. So here is our creamy whip dollop. It's blue with purple sprinkles and in Inside, we've got some surprise bags, yeah. And our instructions. I'm not sure if I actually pointed it out very well, but everything kind of has a purpose in this set. So just in case I didn't the first time very well, I will make sure to point it out. So first up, we have our bright yellow see-through plastic spoon. It comes with a little tip that we add to the bottom. You just shove it in. And now this spoon serves four purposes, which would be scooping and using it as a spoon. We can also mold the shape of our ice cream scoop. We can use the handle to imprint a waffle cone look or texture to the sand. And then at the end, we have our little writing tip. The second bag contains our pet, and I'm very happy to show that it's different. This one here is clear at the bottom with blue at the top with some embedded glitter. Once again, a little unicorn. I can't really tell if it's a bear or a hamster, but whatever it is, it's pretty cute. And of course, this serves as both a pet and a sand mold or snow mold for me. Well, once it snows anyway. And the third bag has our outfit. This one here is different again, meaning I do not have a duplicate doll. So it is teal and green for some of the outlines. Oop, dropping it. Orange around the waist. And we've got some scales, an orange flower, and some vines there along with the glitter. But it's not as much glitter as the first skirt we checked out. Who's inside? I really wish there was a checklist so I could have properly looked. I guess we'll just have to open the cup and find out. This one here is all orange in the back. Our sand is yellow orange and pink and it's very tightly packed in there. I don't know how they got it so tight when I can't even reclose mine. They must have used a machine to fully close that because there is no other way. Ah! I love when it comes out because it is so perfectly pressed. Whoa, it's super duper waxy. So I'm not gonna take this one out yet, but here is our Sandachino. Put a little lid on it. So this time we've got a new little bakery or cafe inside. We've got some snacks, teal brick wall, coffee, lots of flowers some lanterns, and a green counter. It's actually really, really cute. Finally, we've got our second set of surprises all in one bag, which is from the swivel drawer down here that I opened in the wrong order last time. So I'm not gonna open those just yet because it's time to check out our Sandachino and see what wonderful doll lies inside. I still cannot get over the fact that I really enjoy this sand. Guys, I don't think you know how big a deal that is to me. I like to break it open with my hands, but they do say, you can like scoop it out. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. Can you guys see her? Maybe not yet. She kind of looks demonic from this angle, but hold on. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, 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 oh. 
we have no name for her. Got little pigtails, I just can't even. She has a light brown skin complexion and comes wearing a romper kind of short set in teal with a little flower over one shoulder and ruffles around the uh, short bottoms there. She's super cute. She does have those same posed legs as the last doll, but her hands are in a different position. Both of them are bent. One looks like it's blowing a kiss and the other is pointing. Oh, wonderful. Her head is not as floppy. So that means my first doll was kind of just defective and this one here has a much better stiffness to her. That's perfect because that was my biggest complaint for the last doll. She's got a super cute little crooked smile off to the right. Big black eyes with orange hearts and some purple painted or makeup details alongside her eyes, across her forehead and for her eyebrows. And finally, a really cute flower design in orange and yellow going down her forehead. For her hair, once again, we've got a mix of both real and plastic molded in purple with streaks of pink. And I can tell you, to be fair, I did mess with the pigtails just a little bit, but I can tell you that the quality is pretty garbage on this one because I am losing large clumps of hair. I'm not sure if you can see that, probably not, but I am losing large clumps of hair. So I will have to very gently comb this out after I put on her skirt and open her second set of surprises where we will find her comb along with all of her other accessories. And it's the exact same as the one we got with the first doll. Very cool. So it's a yellowish green color, very thick with embedded glitter. And down here in the bottom, we've got some holes. I can't remember if I pointed this out or not, but these holes also serve a function. You just take more of that sand, push them into it, and we can make little sprinkles. Or you can push down the actual bristles of the comb and make some interesting designs in the sand. So that's pretty cool. And now that I found the comb, I'm very carefully using my finger as a guide, going to work my way through her hair. Oh, there's a big old chunk of knot in the back here. Oh, I think she's gonna need a trim. So that's the left side done. It looks pretty fabulous. So let's move on to the other side because honestly, it's looking pretty thin and terrible. So I'm gonna be very, very gentle here because I have a feeling the glue is not holding properly inside of her little hollow head there. Look at this, ah, big chunk. Okay, here we go. Hopefully no more comes out. <laughs> the girls look so wonky, but uh, there we go. Oh goodness, I'm just gonna wrap them together for now, okay? So it looks full and less sad for me. She looks fabulous, awesome. We'll move her off to the side and we can look at her other surprises, which include her shoes, or in this case, tall orange sandals that are covered in glitter and have a little purple flower across the toe. So pop those on, very easy to get her ready. And of course, I made sure to put them on the right feet so she can slip right onto her base. Excellent, excellent. And then her other surprises are all the same. So we've got our heart here with the cupcake, ice creams, and shakes. It's a little bent, but it's the same. We've got our whip cream dollop mold, a purple cupcake purse this time, once again, to be used as a mold, and it has embedded glitter, and the waffle cone headband, which is orange to match her overall appearance. And here she is all dressed up. She is a much better quality, excluding her hair, than the first doll, which gives me hope that it'll be easier to make her a dress. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've made a few of my molded shapes, which includes sprinkles this time, and in hopes of getting it right, I'm going to follow these instructions step by step. So we've taken out our doll. Now we are meant to take the insert, which I did do before, but it didn't work out very well. And we're gonna stick it inside, once again, the um, big bell shape and fill up the sides. The only problem with this is that once you take it out and add your doll, like she doesn't just fit there. You have to open the dome and then, you know, now it's no longer tightly packed. I don't know. You know what? That's what the instructions say. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I am really trying to pack it in this time. I'm actually gonna use that inner dome to help me pack it in nice and tight. Oh, I don't know how I managed that, but I got the stickers in there. And now we're supposed to be able to put the doll back inside. But like I said, she can't fit in there. The only way I can see us putting her inside this shape is to take off her body. And then, oh, then she just falls. I don't know. Give her her legs back. Oh, I've separated it a little. It sort of made a bigger gap. Hold on, maybe we could do this now. Okay, but she's still wobbly. Let me go ahead and pack her back in. 
I mean, it's better. It's not any worse. If you kind of separate her legs in different directions and add some more sand, which you might be lacking at this point, let's be honest, you can kind of get her to stay, which is exciting. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's just hope that lasts a while. And now for the big reveal. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on us because once the dome is gone, ah, once the dome is gone, she's starting to collapse. No, 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 no. Oh my. That definitely did not work. There's something that I'm doing wrong here, I swear. Because once the dome is out, it falls apart. I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep the dome in there. Make my final mold, which I have forgotten. I'm sorry, little guy. Doo -doo -doo. We'll just add some decorations to the dress, which definitely get ruined once I squish them on. Pull out the dome. It's wilting, it's wilting, ah! Shove her in, and man, is she gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think it works if you take the dome out. You'd have to add the skirt thing so she could stand on it. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, well that's something. She's so pretty, I love her. Look at that ball gown, guys. Don't be jealous. Actually, you know what, be jealous. She is stunning. Wait, hold the phone, hold the phone. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of We're Still on the Same One, where I'm cleaning up the sand and trying to store it in the whip dollop on top. And I just came up with an idea. So I filled up both sides. And now I'm gonna take my doll, I'll take off her shoes and her skirt, and I'm gonna place her inside because we already know she fits in there. And then I'll pack the remaining side with as much as I possibly can, because this seems like it's gonna work out a bit better. But I think I have a little too much here. There you go. And then close it up nice and tight. Please, for dear life, add a dollop to her waffle cone. Here we go. Open it up. And would you look at that? It worked! I fixed the problem. Look at that. Oh, I just lost her ice cream dollop on top. Ta-da! Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, I'm so much happier with that. Give her her purse, and yeah, she's off to a really weird tie-dye ball. Do, 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 do. So let's quickly fix the first doll, since we have a way to now. Uh, 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 uh. Do you remember when this was? A few more colors, a few more colors, but now it is just green. So we're gonna pack it in nice and tight, of course. And this was my super loose wobbly doll. Carefully remove and wow, she looks so much better. Now, since hers is mostly green, since the color's all blended, I'm gonna give her some sprinkles. Boop, boop, ta-da. There we go, give her the purse. And of course, we can't forget a scoop of ice cream on top of her head. And just like that, our ladies are ready. Awesome. Oh, one last bonus feature. Guys, if you pack all of your extra sand inside of the whipped dollop, just add your spoon to the top where the opening is and pack that sand up and around it nice and tight. Then just add all of your accessories to keep them safe. Close it up and put whatever's left inside of your swivel dish thing there. Stick your base in just so you know where it is. Close the door, add your lid, add your whip, and finally, Add the dome. For a completed frappuccino, cappuccino, ice cream chino, whatever, we finally have a straw. I'm probably not the first person who has thought of this, but I don't care. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for me and my first look at the sugar surprise dolls. I actually really like these play sets, but not exactly for what you'd imagine. Would I recommend them 100% as is? No, I definitely think the dolls could be a bit better. I had obvious issues with my first doll being super wobbly, but then I opened the second doll, which gave me hope that not all dolls would be wobbly. However, I am worried more so about hair loss on future dolls. Are the dolls incredible? Absolutely not. Are they cute? Yes. If you like dolls, great, but I personally would recommend this playset more so for the sensory play aspect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and just thank you for being here because I would absolutely hate for you to miss out on any future fun toy reviews or possible fails like this one almost became. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!